My name is Andrew McElrath, and I wanted to share with you the value of looking back in our experiences and histories. There are sometimes patterns that come up in our life that create resistance. And, and sometimes we can identify these and it's easy to figure out the source of them and we can kind of unpack them in different kinds of therapy to try to resolve them so that we can move forward. And sometimes there's information and experiences that are go much deeper. And I wanted to kind of talk about these in a way to offer up some information based on my experience. And I'm going to talk about three general sources for some of the resistance or the patterns that can emerge in our life that prevent us from moving forward and growing. And I'd like to be clear that these don't cover everything for everyone, but in my experience, uh, they're predominant in you know, the areas that are challenging for folks. So the first one that comes up are belief systems that we self-generate about ourselves and the world. So those can come in through beliefs or ideas generally that we receive from our rearing or our upbringing related to school or family or any religious tradition that we're brought into. And those can be relatively obvious. For example, if you know, parents or family members were sort of promoting an idea or concept from you from a very young age that you're not heard or you're not valued or you know, there's something wrong with you. Those can obviously trickle down in lots of kinds of ways and propagate themselves in our lives and moving forward. So that's a relatively obvious example. And I think that there are probably areas in all of our lives where we can see that with some clarity. Um, but, you know, when those develop and anchor themselves in our thought process and effectively our electromagnetic field that informs our bodies, those can be incredibly debilitating. So that's just one example of the mind-body connection that can occur related to those belief patterns. Another source that has been apparent to me, particularly in working with biofield tuning, is that there can be ancestral patterns that are running as well. So, for example, if there's any kind of history in your lineage related to famine or violence or genocide or trauma around the reproductive process of women, which in all honesty is, is virtually everyone that's in a human body on this planet right now, um, those can also run in our experiences. So an example that's come up, which I find particularly interesting, is what I call creation anxiety. So in the case where there's been trauma around reproduction or child rearing or determining who the father is of a child or having children taken away or even miscarriages or abortions and things like that. Um, how that can show up is in a number of different ways, but what's also interesting is it doesn't necessarily go along gender lines. So in working with some men, I've experienced something that's called, uh, or that I call creation anxiety, where it's actually a trepidation or a fear around what's going to be created and how that's going to be treated in the world. Um, another example might be ancestral grief. So for some individuals, you know, they may not have experienced a lot of grief or death in their life, but they are running some really profound sadness that can affect all kinds of different parts of their lives. So that's another example of how the genetic memory can show up in our current experience, although we may have no personal connection to those um, experiences per se or events. So another form of an area or that can show up related to sort of trauma that shows up in our current life is stuff that's happened in our past lives. So for some people, it's a big leap to acknowledge uh, the existence of reincarnation. And in other world traditions, it's common and it's integrated firmly into the belief system 
and practice. So depending on where you are with that, you might have a different relationship with it. But I work a lot with folks doing past life regression. And what I find is usually what shows up in a session, depending on the technique that's being used, is that the higher self or the eternal infinite expression of ourselves will show up with the information that we need to work with at the, this time or during the session. So, for example, if I'm experiencing a physical symptom, and this is just one example, in my body, it could be that in a previous life, there was some physical trauma that's carried over into this life into my body. So, and, and also emotional information as well. So maybe in one life there was trauma around speaking one's truth and that may have resulted in some death related to, you know, physically focused on the neck or the throat itself. It could be that there are um, either emotional patterns that are showing up or physical symptoms that are related to the trauma that's carried over. So these are just a couple examples of what can show up. But in my experience, by looking into the past in any of these kind of sources, we can allow for the subconscious or the stuff that's running in the background that's informing our experience in our lives when we allow that to come forward into our conscious awareness, there's an opportunity for it to become integrated and resolve. And this is pretty huge because in a lot of trainings or tools that are put out there, there's a lot of focus on looking forward exclusively. And while that has value, if there's something running in the background of your experience or your genetic memory or in your past lives that keeps reoccurring, it may be telling you that it's important to approach it in a different way to resolve it. So I hope that this information kind of may help you frame some of what you're working with or provide some opportunities or new perspectives on how to address you know, the, your process of growth and healing. And I also just want to be clear again, this is, isn't a catch-all for everyone. We're individuals, we have individual experiences, and there's a broad diversity of the sources of things that can hold us back. But it, I hope that this has been a good opportunity to hear that information. And if you have any other questions or interested in working with these modalities, I encourage you to uh, connect with the, the link associated with this video and you can reach out to me. Thank you so much.